Right guys and girls, uh, this is the start point of our little uh, ride out next weekend. So it starts off here at the Premier Inn, the Tolpaw, uh, on the riverside in Stockton. A few of you are staying here at the, rivers, uh, the uh, Premier Inn. So, we'll go do the route. So yeah, Saturday night we'll be in there having a few drinky poos and something to eat. The whitewater rafting course is down there. So yeah, just to park around that corner there behind where I started from. Tucked away in the corner if you can, if you're riding your bikes. Looking forward to seeing who comes. I don't know if there's going to be many of us, but whoever comes, it'll be a good day, hopefully. I know some are going to be coming on the uh, the dirt bikes, which is great, because I'm sure that some of the trails might be a little bit slippy. But those who are coming on big bikes, I'm sure will adapt. So there's the white water crafts down there. It's not on today. That's the good old River Tees. Right, let's go and do this route. So starting off from Stockton, at the riverside, we shall proceed over the railway lines down there, onto the A66 left. I don't know whether you want running commentary or not from me, or whether you just want to see it, I might even speed it up a bit. Uh, Petrol station straight across these traffic lights if you need them. There's a Morrison's. When I say this traffic lights, I mean these ones over here, straight across there. So this is the first time testing out my new uh, dash on the GS, thanks to Paul Simpson who used the 911 to do that last uh, the other weekend. Right, so we're going to be down here, we actually don't want to go onto the 66, we want to stay in this left lane and then we want to be bearing right. He's coming in, isn't he? Let him in. So yeah, just keep to the left here. Going on to the A19 southbound. So we're going to be in the right hand lane now. So yeah, just using this um, this new dashboard that has been done, say by Paul, using that uh, dongle that you plug into the bike, and you can change a few settings. The sport mode being one of them. I'm also for the first time using my new sat nav. It's actually a uh, 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 um, iPhone 11 uh, and what I've done I've just put a data sim only card in it so it's not connected to um, you know cellular or mobile phone although you can use it if I use Wi-Fi um, and then I've downloaded a thing called Guru Maps and I've programmed a couple of routes into it this one now I'm recording so this is the first time I've used that, so that'll be interesting to see what, um, how that records the route. So I'm going to need fuel myself at some point, so um, I'll probably fill up when we get to Stokesley, actually another point where we usually start from. Why am I hanging around in traffic? Yeah, blurred that bit. Uh, left 
take left left on the A174 We get to the front. Yeah. My back brake feels a little squiffy today. Could probably do with bleeding maybe. Oh but I have got my um my enduro boots on so I'm probably not getting as much feeling as I normally would. But it's definitely a bit squidgy. Actually it's coming back a little bit. It was definitely uh squidgy this morning when I left home under the petrol station if um, if somebody hasn't managed to fill up well I hope the weather's going to be good I hope it's like this next weekend a couple of degrees warmer might be nice man but uh, as long as we've got clear nice blue skies I'm sure It'll be a good day, hopefully. We were out last weekend and it was um, uh, it was very cloudy. We were up in the hills and the views weren't very good. So hopefully next weekend they're going to be much better. Well, like today, hopefully. Well, I realise I haven't had a bit of a chat since I... Uh, well, for quite some time I, I don't really put stuff on. YouTube anymore, I'll leave that to the guys who know what they're doing. But yeah, the last time was probably, oh it's over six months ago because it was before I went off and did the Morocco trip. Yeah, Morocco, my god, uh, yeah, I've got to go back there but when I do go back I'm going to make sure I go back either on my own or with a very small group I don't want to do it with uh, um, I don't want to do it with one people I don't know although I've got no worries about you know being with strangers but I want to do it with you know, very like minded people there's some really really good riders on that uh, trip we did some good, good guys one of my downsides really for that trip was I wasn't wasn't fit unfortunately when I before I went I'd been suffering from the really bad chest infection and I was really struggling with um, shortness of breath and low lung capacity when I was there which in 48 degree heat did not help at all and the day there was a couple of days we got stuck in the uh, the bike stuck in the desert um, yeah it was a I mean anybody would struggle we all everybody struggled then that ran out of water and that day absolutely beat me completely beat me I've never been so fatigued in all of my days I was spent completely But, yeah, Morocco itself, the place, you know, is absolutely stunning. But would really, really want to go back in a very small group or, you know, on my own. The trip was, you know, spectacular. We saw some, you know, amazing places you know we went through some amazing little villages and did get to see it but I was very surprised that we did an, a lot of road work in between some of the trails which I wasn't really prepared for you know I, I don't know if there's any more I don't know anybody that you know loves biking as much as I do well, I do, of course I do. Loads of you do, but, you know, I love being on my bike and riding, but 
what really floats my boat is getting off the tarmac and getting on some trails, some sh you know, some shale trails and you know, mountain passes, which is what I thought the whole trip was going to be about. And it, unfortunately, Morocco's having a huge spurge on infrastructure and roads, especially. And uh, Lyndon, who was our guide, had. Uh, the routes that he's planned were four years ago, five years ago almost now that he was there before. Um, there, were tra there were trails and now they've been tarmacked over which took him by surprise. Um, you know, I don't want to be too over critical but a, a bit more research would have, before we went, we would have found that out. So yeah, some of the trails that were planned we're just, we're just now roads, you know, bloody amazing roads, granted, but I'd gone there to, to get off the roads and get on the trails and the back, back lanes and everything, which we did some of them, but not as many as uh, I think we'd hoped. So yeah, so the, the trip was had its ups and downs. It, and like I say, I was a bit, um, I felt a little bit unfulfilled when I got back, mainly because of my own sort of health issues. Um, and two, you know, I was expecting a little bit more from the off-roady side of it. But the ones, the bits we did do were phenomenal absolutely phenomenal but of course since I've come back I've seen other videos of um, guys trips and the trails that they have managed to go and see and find and there's so much more to see and do just time time that's the thing time and money you know that trip that Rich has just done you know, I've been glued to every single second of his videos watching that and thinking that's the trip I wanted that's the trip I want to do not the riding down through France granted you can bollocks to that but having said that now I've got the, the van, the camper van you know there is an idea of throwing the bike in the back and not needing sort of hotels to travel down granted you'll miss the riding down through maybe Spain and stuff but you could save a couple of quid by um, finding park ups and just parking up when you need a rest and, and then just ditch the van at some point in, in, in Spain and get the bike out and ride around Morocco and then do the same coming back so that could be an uh, option. Obviously that would really only work if I was on my own. But alternatively, you know, I could take the family, throw the bike in the back and, you know, get to a point. They could uh, enjoy a nice resort somewhere in Spain and I could bugger off for a bit. Plans, plans, loads of plans, loads of ideas. But, um, yeah, just time. I've got to remember I've got a, a business to run and things aren't great at the minute in retail. Everybody's uh, spending all the wages on gas and electric at the minute and mortgage rates. The luxury of new carpets or flooring. But we'll get through it. got a trip booked um, in July back to Spain with Rich and Wild Bad Touring. I'll be good. Uh, my son Ash is coming which is a me mega, 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 mega. A couple of other good boys are coming as well that I know. I'm sure there'll be people I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure with the numbers on that particular trip. I know there was a few dates left, sorry spaces left last time in Mitch and I spoke not sure if that's still the case now because I know ev all the ferry and everything and the hotel's all booked so 
so yeah that's coming up in July I know he's going up there in June first trip um, Gaz has been tail and Charlie on that one and I'm being the tail and Charlie on the July trip so yeah really looking forward to that I'm gonna ride down exactly the same as we did last year ride down and stay at Bridgewater in the Premier Inn the night before because the ferry is I think it's just after lunch I think so instead of uh, traveling leaving home at stupid o'clock in the morning we'll just leave you know a sensible time the day before you know we'll all congregate a few of us will congregate at the travel lodge uh, the Premier Inn rather at Bridgewater um, you know we can congregate there and set off from there on the morning of the, the departure and then it's just a jump down to Plymouth from there a couple of hours from the hotel down to Plymouth get there a good time and then get on the ferry and then I'm going to do the same on the way back because the ferry back gets in at about 6pm I believe if, if it's on schedule and then again a couple of hours up back to the hotel get a head down and then leave the leave for home the following morning I think the whole trips I think in total eight days I, I believe yeah leave on the 9th and return home on the 17th yeah that's right yeah ferries the 10th and 15th yeah so yeah so looking forward to that it'll be good to get some warmth on me back Mind you, we've got uh, the Wild well Bad Weekend, haven't we, end of June. Uh, so that'll be... Oh, we've also got the ABR. Sorry. No, it's the ABR, end of June, ABR, and then Wild well Bad's after we get back from the Picos. Yeah, so looking forward to the ABR again. Uh, my son can't go this year, so it'll just be me, the wife, and... I think I'm just going to throw the KTM in the in the van to do the trail on this year, I think. Or the Honda, I'm not sure. We'll see. So we've got that booked. That'll be good. And then nothing really. Nothing else. Um, I didn't dare really plan anything else with the way the, the current financial situation is at the minute. Well, the current economic situation, should I say. So this is Stokesley, another good meeting point, the petrol station just at the end of this road where we usually meet up. Oh yeah, I've got, well, I'm going back, yeah, I am going back to Spain and the uh, first week of September. I am going to throw the, uh, the KTM in the, uh, the back of the van. For that one and uh, let me like say me my son was supposed to be doing it so this is the other petrol station i think i might fill up here wait you're obviously going there there's no fuel there so i'll have to go here uh yeah so we were um me and ash were gonna do we we're gonna buy ourselves a couple of uh 890s uh, and do it on that but we haven't and so we're just going to put, but oh, I haven't said that, Ash can't go now. Anyway, let me get this fuel. Oh, sorry, I'll go with that one. Didn't realise they were, they were both shut. Looks like a right numpty there, didn't it? She could probably see that there was only one not working. Yeah, this is another place that we usually meet up at in Stokesley, the petrol station. When, we, when we're on the, uh, the Hondas and the dirt bikes, we usually fill up here in the loop we do usually takes a full tank. Sorry about that, I thought they were both there. <laughs> uh, 
right. I filled it up, that may have been the wrong thing to do today if we're hitting the trails, never mind. We've done it. Right, let's go pay for that fuel. See a minute. That's the fuel paid for. You can have only about two minutes, I've already got a million messages. And I'll shut them later. Right, God, why is this car back always slippy as anything? <coughs> car park, I mean forecourt. Tank of fuel, let's go and do our trip. Yeah, so I was saying, so me and Nash were going to go and um, we were really tired about the idea and go getting a couple of 890s and doing a trip into Spain. But uh, yeah, Ash, um, with work commitments, couldn't uh, couldn't commit. So, um, so then I went. Well, I would still want to go, and obviously having the convert in the van. So I looked at a campsite in the north of Spain. Found one close to the entrance. Well, not really that close to the entrance of the Tet, but I found one that's not a million miles away. So yeah, so I decided that um, I was going to go do it. Um, asked my good mate Simo if he fancied coming, he take an Ash's place and he can ride the Honda. I'll be on the KTM and that's kill two birds with one stone. Not only I'll get to you know do it with Simo, great boy, great guy, but um, he has the uh, the discount code for the ferry, so that saved us a few quid as well. And yeah. Honest, uh, Sim. I didn't. Uh, I didn't invite you just for the discount. Did really. So yeah. So that's um, that is the uh, the plan. Um, Pete Brown Smith um, has also. Uh, well, we were talking it while we were out in um, Spain last year. We said we've definitely got to do a trip on the dirt bikes out there. So you know, he's got a van and. You know, all being well, he can do the same. You know, hopefully, he's, uh, if he comes as well, that'll be amazing. So, <laughs> but yeah, the yeah, uh, but the whole reason of doing it was that I could hopefully plan a a bigger trip there with some, you know, some of the, our off-roady guys. But we can maybe organise it for next year that we could all, you know, once we know where we're going and it's all relatively accessible. Well, maybe a few of us can go next year. But uh, I didn't want to try and organise a big group thing without nipping out there first. So that's the idea. So that's um, that's booked in for September. Um, we actually come back on the same day as Rich and because Rich has got a couple of trips out there and one of them is September um, so the actual way on the same ferry coming back I think it's the 9th of September I believe so I think what we might do is might leave the campsite and maybe try and park up somewhere in Portes and have the night the last night with them gonna try and do that maybe what where are you going any indication um, so yeah that's uh, that's the plan anyway so other other ideas obviously I want to get away weekends in the van 
the van's uh, parked up at the minute and it has been for the last three months because after, after I did all the conversion I did a ride to the Lake District and had a really good weekend there with it everything worked a treat and on my way home one of the pistons decided to blow a hole in the in itself I thought it was the turbo that when I got recovered they said it was the turbo it turned out it wasn't the turbo it was actually an, a dodgy injector the injector had been either blocked or something was wrong with it clearly and it was focusing all its jet on one point of the piston which ultimately blew a hole in it um, it could have been a lot worse could have been you know a lot of metal fragments but thankfully Ash my son is amazing at this type of stuff so I whipped the engine out completely shipped the engine to its own components um, took out everything that was either worn or looked that it need replacing so all new timing belts all new gaskets everything all new internals there's a new piston gone in uh, a few other bits of pieces that have gone in uh, he's done amazing thankfully the head didn't need skimming but what did the but the damaged uh, piston that needed boring out and we uh, I'm saying we my son went round a few places to get it done and nobody could do it before Christmas so my son bought uh, the tool in to do it and spent hours and hours and hours honing it and then just put a slightly oversized sleeve and piston in and he's got it as good as new so we replaced the damaged injector but unfortunately that one came um, not good enough there was issues with that one when we put the engine back together there was issues with that so sent that back off and that's just turned back up so that's ready to go back in next week and then the drive shafts are to go back in and fingers crossed that's it back on the road so there'll be a running in period again because I said there's lots of new components in the engine we'll get a running in and then we'll change the oil and the other fluids right so first trail here we are this one's just a little one so why is my bike not reading my key so let's just get it out of gear and let's put it into enduro mode there we go and you will pro I need a pee already <laughs> right so let's do this so as you can see we're close to the well we're in the North Yorkshire Moors now really whoa slip slide it that's there uh, no traction at all there in dual pro we get still supposed to get a bit of traction aren't we there we, yeah there we go we don't want to be slipping and sliding too much on the big lad. Uh, we're going to get a bit dirty today, aren't we? Right, remember, Pete, you're not on your KTM or Honda, you're on the big one. Just take it easy. all fairly straightforward nothing too difficult there's f quite a lot of grip here underneath this what look mud it's quite grippy there's a few bit of shade easy easy slip slide in away yeah this is what we're about so uh, we are not going that way are we uh, yeah no we're going this way I'm, I'm trying a few uh, little things this time this is going to be slightly different to my normal route I'm going to try and add a few other bits and pieces into it 
because like I say there will be some people coming on bigger bikes so we've got a limit which difficult trails we do but it's still got to be interesting enough for the guys who are coming on the enduro bikes So remember, I'm still in enduro mode, so there's gotta be careful pulling out of these corners if my tires are full of garbage. I'm about ready for another rear tire, actually, it won't be long. Oh, I do love it over here especially on a day like today. I don't know whether you can see Captain Cook's monument over there. We'll get a little bit closer to that. So where am I going to stop today for a, a coffee? Um, I don't think I'm going to go past the cafe at Danby the day on the route that I've planned. But I think we're going to miss that out. But I have planned to stop at the cycle hut. A bit of luck, I'll get there about dinner time. So the question is, do I go up that today, or do we come down it? We're going to go up it. So let's see. Yeah, we'll be alright. If it's like this next week, we'll be all. Everybody will be fine. Helen's coming with Simo, which is great. She's actually going to be riding my Honda. Actually, that reminds me, I'm going to have to uh, clean it because it's filthy. Right, we are spinning out quite a lot today. What is going on with my traction? We're spinning out a bit more than usual. <laughs> yeah, the... Obviously we're running full road pressures, but it's all in the challenge, isn't it? Let's get a little muddy pick. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, are we taking? There we go. Right, sorry about this uh, photograph. You'll you're going to see a bit more, I'm a bit of a tart when it comes to taking photos, as I'm sure you're all aware. Still need a pee. Right, got nobody to do my gates today. I'm doing everything on my own. Yeah, we're going to get muddy today, aren't we? Oh, this bloody key. Come on. I didn't bring the drone today. I, I didn't mean to. But no, I didn't. As you should do, really. Spend all that money and not use it. It's like my 360 camera. Don't bloody use that either. and a bit of dry stuff. Oh, I think I'm going to have to stop for the pee, I'm busted. I've had two cups of tea this morning. Uh, if it's like this, nobody's going to have any issue, really. So, oh, we've got a cycle list. Am I on the side side of the road? Yep. Yeah. Alright. 
I think he thought I was going to move over there. How are you doing all right? Oh, he had a smile on him, didn't you? Right. Again, apologies, but photo time, you can't not miss this. I love this little spot. I might just, I'm trying to do these out. But then again, why would you? It's stunning, isn't it? In it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Would you look at that? Sloppy. Right, pick your line. Yeah, we're all right. We're all right. Push these cattle goods because they can be stupidly slippy. There we go. Oh, we're in a rut, we don't really want to be in the rut, but we've got no choice within it now. Pick your line, Pete, and stick with it. Obviously the GoPro is going to flatten this right out. Oh, this is going to be... No issue for anybody if it's like this. It's a little bit steeper up here, obviously, but momentum is... The key, as we always say, then we can start getting some views. I came around here last week, I was going a little bit quicker than I should have been. Uh, two other bikes coming in the opposite direction on both sides of the lane, which woke me up a bit. I'm sure it woke them up as well, because I wasn't hanging about. Yeah, we're okay. Pick your spot to stop. Lovely jubbly. Super. I think I'm going to have to have a piddle. Right. Oh, I'm going to have to. Right, I'll switch you off for two seconds. Longer than two seconds. More like five minutes. I hate to find the damn thing. <laughs> right, another gate. These gloves, by the way, if anybody's thinking of getting a pair, they are brilliant. The Adventure Spec ones, I'm not quite sure which one to call them. But, really, really good. Actually, I'm fully kitted out with Adventure Spec today. Uh, jacket, pants. Yeah, highly rated them. Right, gotta close that gate. Remote battery at 50%, no function. Will you bugger off? Do my nattering. I 
I do have a spare battery somewhere, but I'm not messing around with that now. Isn't that a perfect sight? Two wheels and a trail. Amazing trail at that. This used to be quite uh, technical, but it's not so bad now. Just got to look, always look in front of you. When I say front, I'm not expecting you to look behind, but I mean look ahead of you. Yeah, don't be looking behind. Yeeha! And there we are in the heart of the moors already. Stunning, absolutely stunning. What's not to love about that? Getting wind noise. Is that a bit better? I haven't got all the fancy uh, software that the the guys use. Mind you, haven't said that. It's not true. I do have the software. I just don't know how to use it. I haven't used this camera and system since uh, I did come back from Morocco. So. If we don't have any audio and film, I'll be upset, but what can I do? Oh, how stunning is that? Couldn't really see this last weekend, it was just a blanket of cloud. So this is called the Tees Valley. If right in the distance, that's th um, so we're in north e north east Yorkshire, and then you get north west Yorkshire. But that's um, and then the Pennines are a little bit further over. Bitchmanshire over there and. What a day, what a day to be out. Tire pressure does not match, oh here we go. It's all happening today. This is dropping into Kildale. Road K not in range, will you bugger off? I'm taking the left, left here. <coughs> Once I came around that corner and there was a bloke walking and nearly bloody took his head off. Oh, we've got a tractor. Did 
me a favor, they ask him a question. I decided 2024 was the year that I try and lose some weight. Oh, not that I haven't tried before and been unsuccessful. I've tried loads of times. And I'm 54 this year and if I don't do something now, it's only getting harder and harder and harder. So, a couple of people I know have recently lost substantial amounts of weight. Rich Gals and Ollie Y as well, my god, I saw him in November, we all met up over in Derby I didn't recognise him, sorry my mate, did not recognise you Stood right in front of me, I'm second guessing He'd lost a considerable amount of weight And he, I didn't think he was a big lad to be fair, but my god I just, uh, yeah, but I've decided I'm gonna Try and lose. I've lost a little bit already. I've um, just trying to cut out crap, really. I just I've got a, I've got a really sweet tooth. I'm terrible, terrible. I can't have food without then having something um, something sweet afterwards. So this all oh my diet. This one meal a day that a couple of lads have recommended. Uh, oh, both sides of the road. Um, yeah, so I decided to give it a go. I'd give all the stuff a go. I tried them shakes and stuff, and you know, I, I did stick to them shakes, but they didn't it didn't do anything. And then, but the wife did say, you know, granted it's you know the better than eating your Greg's pasties, I guess, but. There's still a, a lot of sugar in them, and I think sugar is my nemesis. It just bloats me, and I feel lethargic, and I feel crap, and then it's kind of, it gives me that craving to want more. So I, I stopped having them shakes. So yeah, so my daily routine, go to work, open the shop up, nip to Greg's, coffee, bacon bun, and if I have that at breakfast time, I'm usually starving again by three o'clock. So then I'd go get a sandwich, bag of crisps and another coffee. And of course I have bloody sugar in my coffee and... So yeah, so I've decided um, I'm going to stop going to bloody Greg's. And, and just try and have one meal a day. So far, so good. Touch wood, it is working. Got to be bloody disciplined. But the difference I did, I've got a, I've got a water cooler in my office, and never bloody use it. And I've made a conscious decision. I bought one of those flasks, you know, with the times on it. You know, you've got to drink this much by 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. And you know, so I bought one of those. So now I'm making myself have two liters of water a day. Which does suppress, you know, my appetite, which is working quite well. And then, by the time I get home and have something to eat, which I, by then I'm absolutely starving, um, I love that. And then it's it's absolutely filling me up no end. That then I'm not wanting to sort of have anything else, anything sweet. Mind you, I haven't said that. I did have. Four squares of whole nut last night, chocolate. <laughs> because after all, it was Friday. Um, when I say four squares, these are just the small ones. Normally, I'd have a whole bloody bar. So yeah, um, and that's been working really well. And by, by not having breakfast, I know you're supposed to have three square meals a day, but. Um, I don't feel, I don't feel hungry, it's not sort of starting me off. So yeah, um, that's been the plan up to now, and I've lost a little bit of weight, it's taking its time, but I'm seeing, I didn't see bugger all actually, it, it, the first few weeks didn't see nothing, but slowly but surely I'm seeing improvements now. 
for the same improvements, I mean slight weight loss. I don't know if I feel any better, I'll be honest. I'm sure that comes after you get all the crap out of your system with proper detox. So yeah, so that's my plan. Just clothes are starting to feel tight and I'm just feeling like crap. I've always been active, you know, for for years and years, but uh, obviously ten years ago I opened the shop, well, I'm into my tenth year of being a shopkeeper. Um, you know, the 30 years before that, when I was on the tools, I was active every single day, eating what the hell I wanted. Right, this trail's fairly straightforward, nothing technical or difficult about that, is there? Everybody should be okay with that. Yeah, we're at the other side of Captain Cook's Monument now there, look, can you see just in the distance that pinnacle? You can, you, well, if I'd have gone a little bit further back there, you could have seen the coast. So yeah, I'm going to try and stick to it, try and be disciplined. Um, today I'll stop off at the uh, cycle hut and I will have some lunch there, but then I probably will skip dinner tonight. Uh, Kath and uh, my wife and daughter, they're out at the football today. Uh, so they said they're going to eat out today, so that tonight we'll probably just, you know, maybe have a, a little snack or something, you know, cheese and biscuits or something, just a little small tonight as a family. But then again, see how I feel when I get in. So yeah, I'm going to try and stick to it. Try, because nobody else is going to do it for me, are they? Nobody's going to do it for me. Right, here's another trail. Now this one cut, has caught out one or two boys before. Just make sure. It's not difficult, it's just got a few ruts, so just got to pick your line. Look far enough ahead. Like I said, it's not very long, but it can get a bit rutted. Cam and Boo came off here one time but thankfully nothing at high speed but somebody had a little tumble on it you can see there just a few little dips and troughs there we go like, yeah, we're going to have to take this route we're going to have to yeah. Yeah, just take it easy lad just take it easy remember you're not on the KTM Yeah, it's a little bit rutty, a little bit rutty. We're getting through it, we're okay. Again, sometimes it is easier to go through these. We don't, we're trying to avoid stuff like that, is that when you can get into trouble. Sometimes just take your time and just go through it. I went through a puddle last weekend and I had three of the boys behind me and I went through and it must have been two foot deep. <laughs> the bloody followed me through. Couldn't believe it. We all got drenched. But it actually made the day. We all had a, a really good howl. And then the Ash Wright went and bloody <laughs> fell over in a in a heap. Right, are you gonna stay there or not? No you're not, are you? We're gonna have to switch it off. But we'll put you in gear. There we go, stay there. If some of these gates do not stay open on their own, they want to fire. There we go. Some of them want to fire back. <laughs> Photograph pervert again. Look at the colours. Come on, take. There we go.
I'll just walk this through, I think. <laughs> little, well, it's not too steep, but a little steep section down here. Dee dee dee. Who the hell has littered there? In the middle of nowhere. That grip my shit, that. With a magnet starting. Don't be playing silly bookers now. Oh, was this to do with a battery? Was on it. I'm gonna have to change the battery. I'm fancy changing the battery today. Come on, find the battery. Find the key. Just just dodgy signal, I think, that's all it is. It's not like I'm being in that top bag. Put it in my pocket and see if that changes. Let me pocket. Hey, right. if that a solves it. Yeah, sometimes you have to take it a little bit easy on this sort of. It can be quite mossy underneath. Lots of pine leaves have gone down and mushed in and it can, it can be a bit slippy especially when it's wet it's not too bad today what's not to love about this eh? if you love getting off the beaten track like I do I love it I don't think any of us love sitting on motorways do we but there again not a lot of people like, uh, like getting out the comfort zone and then doing this type of thing Right, we're gonna have to try and park up somewhere sensible. We're gonna have to switch off again, aren't we? Yeah, we're gonna have to. <coughs> Leave it in gear. It's still gonna be careful leaving it in gear on a down slope because it will, it will, um, it will roll on in gear if it's steep enough. Yeah, I was recently out uh, um, and there was a very steep bit I stopped on. And, uh, anyway, I just managed it. Alright, we don't have another gate for quite a while. We'll check it out. Is it? Phone pervert time again. Yeah, take it easy here. I think the middle is going to be the better line. He says. Don't think it is. No, it's not far off. Yeah, we're all right. I'm just covering the back brake here, just and the front, of course. Just make keeping control of the speed. Down safely, there we go. Although the GoPro, it's going to look, it's all going to look flat, isn't it? Because that's what the GoPro does, it just flattens everything out. What a spot that is. 
some lucky person lives there. We make our own luck though, don't we? Right. Back on the Kildale Road. This is the Kildale to Commondale Road. Another great road this in the summer evenings. I used to come down here on the little bullet. Fantastic on a summer's evening these roads, usually nothing on them. Remember I've probably got crap on me tyres so I'll take it easy. Well so far so good with this new setup I've got. Did I finish off saying what I was doing? So yeah, I bought the I bought the iPad, uh, sorry, the iPhone 11. Put a data-only SIM card in it, um, and then got rid of nearly everything on the phone. Just really stripped it back, so nothing was running. So we're going to take a battery or memory or anything. So then I downloaded Guru Maps Pro from the App Store. Now I've gone for the Pro because obviously you can download the uh, offline map so I could have this you know completely switched off so it's not taking data or anything and then I overlaid that with the GPX files and then I'm now currently overlapping it again with my own files what I'm creating right now so yeah so this route that I'm doing hopefully I'll turn that into a file that I can um, you know, maybe share to some, not all. One thing that um, I do get asked a lot, and I know other friends do as well that create routes, is that, that they just get asked for the routes that they're on. But you get, sometimes you get asked without a please and a thank you or, you know, any other dialogue other than can you send me the route? Can you, where you're at? And it's just, it's not that you're, you're precious of them or you're, uh, you, well, how, to, how can I put it? Or, or that you want to be, you know, it's mine and I'm keeping it. It's more the fact that, one, you haven't been very polite about it. And two, there's time, effort and money gone into, you know, creating them. To just hand them over to, you know, strangers without a please and a thank you it does kind of grip your shit a bit well it does me and I know I'm not alone on it you know so I've got no qualms about um, you know sharing this to friends you know people that I spend time with and you know genuinely you know don't want to put any effort in but yeah because th these days that I'm doing now I do this a regular I do this a lot but I, I don't film it I'm only really filming this because we've got a bit of a tri a bit of a, a gathering coming up where a couple of people are traveling to come up and ride so look at that imagine that being the farmer and having your own sort of track carved into your, your own bit of land I have actually rode that many moons ago. We did a trials competition. In fact, it's on every year in one of the farms here. The farmer allows the trials club to put the trial on using his land, and it's a good one, actually. It's a good trial. And um, the part of the route, well, I wouldn't say it went on it, but went beside it, and me and my son and a few others actually had a little blast round it. Um, Again, nothing illegal, it was all part of an organised thing, although the, the track wasn't necessarily the course that we should have been on, but it was all done in good faith and no hooliganism. Yeah, the, yeah, the trials competition works out of that, that farm up there and all of the land, all over there, really good. I do miss the trials days, I still do have my trials bike. But um, I used to love doing it with Ashley, and Ashley only has so many. So, well, he doesn't have a lot of time. That's the, 
the crux of it working away in a young family and he's always doing something always got to be active no idea where he gets that from <laughs> of course I do I can't sit still check that out stunning up here absolutely stunning check we're still recording is the light flashing yes it is happy days well, I don't know where this uh, has been pointing this camera all day I'll hope it's been pointing in the right direction uh, we got another biker Right, another trail. Uh, so again, this one uh, is a bit longer. Open the visor. Well, that key light hasn't come back on, so putting it in my pocket has obviously helped. Yeah, there's no need to go silly today, Pete. Just take your time. Yes, yeah, so I'm not sure who is coming uh, next weekend. I know some people who are definitely coming because they're staying at my house, Helen and Seymour. Um. I think uh, Steve and Tom from a bike thing, I think they're due to be coming. Well, I know Tom's definitely coming because he's, uh, he's booked in the hotel. Um, I know Webby's booked in the hotel. That's right, on about coming. Um, Chris is coming. Simo's mate. Uh, who else is coming? I don't know how many of the off are lads are coming. I don't know if Michael Heaton's coming with on his. I know he mentioned about he might come, he doesn't know what bike he'll bring. Uh, Mark from Leeds can't come because the lucky bugger's off to Dubai. I don't know if Ian Pilts is coming over from the Lake District. Steve Spencer, I know he, uh, he's talking about coming, I hope he does. Um, Demo can't come. Steve Fletcher's not coming, I don't believe. He hasn't said anything. He, is, he hasn't said it, he's coming in here. Uh, who else from the group? Um, I don't know. No, I know I've got quite a few messages on Facebook from people say they'd like to come, but whether they come or not, it's another, another matter. It's not really a, a fully organised trip. It was just a, a gathering of a few, and we've been waiting to get out, and this is just a... Actually, we haven't been, we haven't done this on the big bikes for quite some time, and that's what it was intended to be—a big bike day. But because of the weather and that, a few people want to do it on the on the lighter bikes, which is understandable. And the lads haven't got full-on dirt tyres on their uh, on the big bikes, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know who else is uh, coming. There might be six of us, maybe, I don't know. Maybe a few more. Don't know. But anyway, but whoever whoever turns up, it'll be a good day. Just uh, more the merrier, but just remember on, we're going to be doing some trails, so uh, no point in turning up on your Panagali. Oh, we can see the sea today. We couldn't see that at all last weekend. So that's the northeast coast. Uh, what have we got? Where are we at? So we have got. Where's the wind turbines? That usually gives me an idea where we are. Redka, 
and Hartlepool have, have left and Whitby is round that corner up there but loads of little lovely little roads and villages in between some lovely little uh, coastal areas, stades nice, a few others taking this easy because last weekend there was a big hole that, that caught me out of it so I can't really remember where it is so I'm trying to yabber on and try and take note of where I am and what I'm doing I don't believe that was the big hole we went into <laughs> I don't know if it's this one no it wasn't that one, well unless I went left of it because I did, I did go into a hole and it was on the right hand side I don't think that was it mind you there might be a lot less water in it today So I've, I've had a huge dilemma since uh, coming back from um, Morocco because what was hugely apparent out in Morocco is how bloody heavy these bikes are. I think that was it. I think that was it. I think that was the big hole last week. Um, yeah, so yeah, what is so apparent is how heavy these bikes are. I mean, we were trying to lift them out the sand, which was no fun whatsoever and they just got stuck in the sand the soft stuff yeah so that was no fun whatsoever uh, so yeah I had a huge dilemma thinking right it's time to shift to something else right we're still recording we're still going so yeah I was thinking about genuinely well I was thinking about before I went about getting the KTM 890 um, and I thought right but do I get rid of the GS and get that and that's that wasn't my plan at all um, well in, in, in all honesty the KTM 890 is in the shape at the moment in the shape of a bloody van that I've converted into a camper that's the truth of it but no, I, yeah, I, I did want it, and I've, but I've still been dilemming whether to uh, chop this in to get the 890. Oh gosh, what am I doing? Uh, to get the 890, but I cannot, cannot bring myself to sell this bike. I can't even, I can't even bring myself to upgrade it to the 1300. I just. And I just, I still can't see me doing it, I just, even the other day, well a couple of days ago, I thought, you know what I'll do, I'll just buy the, a new one of these, but I want the same one, but of course, I'd be very lucky to buy this exact bike, I'd, I'd, I'd even want this model, I'd want this year, granted if I could buy a 2020 new stock, I think I'd do that. I w yeah, in fact that's what I would do if I could find a 2020 model exactly the same as this but in new stock that's what I would buy just so I would have this bike but fresh you know and I'd want all the, the billet pack on it you know I could transfer all my bits back over to it that way I don't have the stupid indicators and no brake light that, that, you know but the chances of finding one of those that, haven't, uh, that hasn't been registered would be pretty damn impossible, I think. What I mean by registered, that I could have a 2020 bike, but have it registered on a new player. So that'd be the, um, if that's even possible, I don't even know. So, uh, yeah, that is what I would choose to do, given the chance. But yeah, no, I can't bring myself to. Uh, 
Right, I'm pulling off here somewhere. Pete, where is it? Where is it? Is it here? It's here. Yes, opposite the petrol station. Actually, do they do coffee? Oh. Do they do coffee? Let's keep going. Um, yeah, so I just cannot bring myself to... To... Um, I can't. I just can't bring myself to... Not to change this particular bike for the 1300. And I haven't really got an aversion to the 1300 as such. I've, I've looked at it closely. You know, while we were down at a bike thing and Bruce's was there getting tucked to bits and I really did took a close look at it. And I was actually, I, I quite liked, I quite liked it. But, here's the but, the big but, I don't like it enough. I know the few lads have said, um, you know, they don't think it's a step up enough. And then I've spoke to people who are blown away by the extra power. You know, and said it is a huge jump up in every way. And granted, I'm more inclined to believe the people who said it's a big jump because they've tested it, you know, out on warm tarmac and not in, not in Blighty, so... Uh, so I believe that once you can act properly get it opened up and not on, you know, wet winter English roads, I think then it comes to its own. But again, I just can't bring myself at the moment. And uh, this bike is... I've got it exactly how I want it. Probably could do with a good, good, you know, service. Definitely needs a detail. Obviously doing things like this isn't uh, necessarily good for it, but... Yeah. But I'll enjoy it. Right, so we are taking a right here. Okay, so this is new territory for me. It's the trail, one of the trails that I said I wanted to do that I'd never done before. Now this is slippy, so we are going to get it into first gear and take... Oh, this is slippy. This is a bit... What have we got underneath here? Just mud. So, Pete, this is a... Right, so let's just take our time. We might have to do a bit of pedalling. <laughs> yeah, this is surprisingly slippy under here. So this is going to be fun. What have we got down here? Bring the speed down, lad, bring the speed down. Right, we've got a water crossing. Okay. So, it looks quite sandy. And we've got a rock at the other side. So, and that looks a lot deeper than first initial thoughts. So have we got a ridge there on that rock getting out? Do we need to go to the right? Right, we're going to have to walk it, aren't we? Do the sensible thing, boy. Get the before photo, just in case we've been it. Come on. There we go. Just in case, there's the... <coughs> no chance of getting over there. Well, not on the GS any order. <coughs> right, please. What do we have in store? Like I say, I've never done this before. Yeah, that is surprisingly deep. And we've got... We've got some rocks. Oh, they're not too slippy. 
Right, that's the line. Oh, that is a bit. What have we got here? Oh, okay, we've got a bit there. That's not too bad. Oh, that's okay. That's our line. That's the line. Straight there, that's fine. Right, we're still going to do a pro, yes, momentum. So just plod in, try not to accelerate too much. Easy. Always worth checking in it. Takes a couple of seconds. First initial thought was to the right, but it was the left that was the, the way to go. Right, again, take your time. Got a bit of slop. We're going to climb out of here, I guess, are we? Yeah. All right, traction is just no stupid throttle response because there's not a lot of grip on this offside camber. Oh, we are going sideways. There we go. <laughs> All part of the fun, isn't it? Yeah, we're just taking our time through here. Don't want to get slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. We're in, we're in the rut. Didn't want to go in there, but we're in. <laughs> Look at that. Right, Pete. So, we're going to go left and get out of that. So drop into that and drop back out of that again. There we go. Right, get around there. Oh shit, that looks... Fuck me. Oh, look at that. Bollocks, that would have been the route. Right, we've got to get over there. We need to get over to the right. Because look at that to the left. That did not look fun there, right. Oh, what else have we got here? Yeah, we're okay. We're okay. Yeah, but it is surprisingly slippy. Slow it down, lad. Slow it down. Yep, here a bit more momentum there. Right, get up on the pegs. Right, look ahead, look ahead. It would have been a wise thing to do, come on the KTM first. We we'll slip back in, sliding around all over. Thankfully this is full of rocks. Ah, we're okay. We're okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Right, the lads are going to piss that on the dirt bikes. I'm going to have to be careful, the lads coming. Especially if it rains this week. Right, we're going to go through this mud again. Okay, that's the line to take, yep. Oh, do you know what? I think I know where I am. I think I did this years ago with the TRF lads. Can I get me stand down? It just took us on a field, if I remember rightly. Right, this is going to be interesting, isn't it? I don't really want to. Uh, Go back on myself if I can help it. But hey, this is silly, really slippy. Right, I need to get up around that corner. Something I've just gone sitting straight over here. Yeah? I don't think I'm going straight over the field. Well, let's see if we can get the momentum up this up this bank.
do not get bogged down like you're getting now go back go forward okay we're out Let's see what mess we made yeah look slippy as really slippery Now my back tyre is absolutely caked now. <laughs> right, let's see what this uh, field brings us. Uh, let's see where it brings us out. Yeah, yeah I remember doing a, a trail years and years ago with the CRF. And we came through. And I had a picture in the middle of a field. And this is ringing bells. That was on me Husky 350, that. Okay, if we can spin this tide up a bit, we might clean it, try and clean it off before it dries. Let's get moving first though. with uh, a few rocks to clear this tyre right we're in the rut yeah I'll just take it steady don't oh don't hit that bank right this is definitely one for the dirt bikes I wouldn't care I did I didn't think I should have come on the KTM today to do with this recce Actually, well, last weekend was supposed to be the recce but I just stuck to the trail on you Right Can we take the high a bit there, Pete? No, back stepping out We're stepping back in the trail We're trying Trying to keep out of the woods and it's just all over the place. Nearly caught up with me there. Back end is all over the shop. Alright, well that was challenging, which is what we want. Right now be careful because your back tire is absolutely caked. Clean that a bit. Uh, just check that tyre, just make sure it's cleaned off a bit before I tackle any more. Yeah, a bit. Oh. Right, well, we got through that. So, question is do we put that in? Next week, dirt lads, no problem. Depends who's on what bike. Catch a pigeon. So we want to be straight over here. This is a fast road, this, uh, watch it. Oh, I could do with cleaning my boots and my pegs off, they're a bit slippy. Of course I don't have enduro pegs on this bike They're the rubber insoles, they do have spikes that come through when you stand up but they're not not really giving me any grip Oh 
what time are we on? Oh, it's lunchtime. We have a gate. Da -da -da -da. Is it a push me or a pull me? It's a pull me. Uh. Come on. Get in the gear. Or get out of gear, should I say. Come on. There we go. Oh, yeah, my feet are... Make sure there's no animals wanting to escape. We had that over Richmond where bloody sheep was actually jumped through the, oh, well, underneath the barrier just as we were approaching it. Remote key, we know because it's in my pocket. Well, it seems to be working much better now it being in my pocket than it was uh, in the tank bag, isn't it? Another gate there by the looks of things. Haven't done this trail for a long time either. This tank bag by the way, only turned up yesterday. It's the new Myco, the waterproof one from SW Motec. Steve from a bike thing supplied that yesterday. And it's perfect size. Stops you filling it full of shit as well. Got gate on a gate on a gate here. So oh, that's a which way is that going? No, that is coming towards me, isn't it? Deceiving because it's locked on the other side. See if I've left enough room. Have I? Well, the only one way to find out. Oh, it will. No, it's designed to go the other way. <laughs> My calculations were off. Another one there. Probably does this to deter people coming through if it's a chore. Oh, and another gate. <laughs> So what do we think this is like? It looks exceptionally buggy, doesn't it? Let's have a little look on there. Hmm. Now then. I think this might be one. Am I, am I going to leave this for another day? It looks like it goes down a dip and back up again. Right. So we want to be straight over here. This is a fast road, this, uh, watch it. Oh, I could do with cleaning my boots and my pegs off, they're a bit slippy. Of course, I don't have enduro pegs on this bike. The, the rubber insoles, they do have spikes that come through when you stand up, but they're not, not really giving me any grip. What time are we on? Oh, it's lunchtime. We have a gate. Da -da -da -da. Is it a push me or a pull me? It's a pull me. 
Uh. Come on, get into gear or get out of gear, should I say? Come on, there we go. Oh, yeah, my feet are. Make sure there's no animals wanting to escape. We had that over Richmond where a bloody sheep was actually jumped through the, oh, well, underneath the barrier just as we were approaching it. Remote key, we know because it's in my pocket. Well, it seems to be working much better now being in my pocket than it was uh, in the tank bag, isn't it? Another gate there by the looks of things. I haven't done this trail for a long time either. This tank bag by the way, only turned up yesterday. It's the new Myco, the waterproof one from SW Motec. Steve from a bike thing supplied that yesterday. And it's perfect size. Stops you filling it full of shit as well. Go gate on a gate on a gate here. Yeah. Oh, that's a. Which way is that going? No, that is coming towards me, isn't it? Deceiving because it's locked on the other side. See if I've left enough room. Have I? Well, the only one way to find out. Oh, it will. No, it's designed to go the other way. <laughs> My calculations were off. Another one there. Probably does this to deter people coming through if it's a chore. Oh, and another gate. <laughs> What do we think this is like? It looks exceptionally buggy, doesn't it? Let's have a little look on there. Hmm. Now then, I think this might be one. Am I, am I going to leave this for another day? It looks like it goes down a dip and back up again. Right, I'll come back to you. I'm going to go for a walk. Right, slight confession. I turned around to that farm. After doing a little bit of research, I need, to, I need to go do it on the KTM before I try and attempt to take this big heavy bike down there. Because it looked very deep rutted farm tracks. Oh, now then. Did it come out there? It may well have come out there. Anyway, I've made the decision to come this way now. We'll do that on another day. Oh, we've got a road ahead close sign. Let's see if that applies to us. It does. Bollocks. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Time to turn around. Talks. Right, so we've got a, a 
uh, go around. Okay. So this has made a bit of a mess of my uh, recording the route. So we're going to have to go back to the road, I think. We can't go through the farm. So, oh, get off that. So we are. Uh, okay, uh, okay. So I'll pass that. I might just go nip back to that. Just go and have a look. Yeah, actually, no. That's that's that bit that I backed out that bit. That looks like it goes deep down and then out again. Alright, we'll leave that for another day. So I need to bypass this somehow. Follow the diversion. Yeah, I remember you've probably got mud on your tyres, so no... Right, so it would have come out there. That's a shame. Right, right, right. Right. Uh, a bit more trail. Right, let's just check that everything's um, still recording. Yes, that's recording. Yeah, we're still on. We're in a duo pro. Let's get the map a little closer. So recording okay, we've uh, done 47 and a half miles, we've been going two hours. <laughs> I was going to say I cleaned the bike a bit, but it's going to get dirty straight away, isn't it? There we go. If anybody's wondering what tyres I'm running, I'm running Analyst Capra X. This is my third set, I believe. Front's okay, could do with a new rear. Well, I'll be ready for a new rear soon, I would think. I'm going through these puddles on purpose now to try and get some of that crap off. Always got to be mindful of big rocks underneath them, where you can't see. <coughs> We're all right. Them little grassy bits you've got to be careful of. They've got like a sharp edge to them and you can catch it sometimes. <coughs>
Whoa. Two sharper rocks there. You always got to be looking. Make sure that front tyre doesn't catch any larger rock and throw you sideways. Well, that's alright. Have you got a YouTube channel? <laughs> yeah, but don't watch it, it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do bits and pieces. Well, let's have fun. I'll go do a bit more. Yeah, have fun. I was contemplating going and getting a coffee, but I'll, I think I can hang on. Right, see you later. Right, so we've just dropped down off uh, Danby Beacon. Dropping down into Danby. This trail's usually closed, but they've opened it back up again. I'm not sure when they opened it, but uh, I was unaware they opened it till recently. Michael, uh, Michael Heaton told me it was uh, back open again. Not that I didn't believe him, but I did have to check. <laughs> but yeah, it's... Um, yeah, it's been closed for, I don't know how many, I don't know if it's been years, but every time I looked it would, it was closed, so I don't know if it just got badly rutted or abused, I don't know, but it's back open now. But you can see how, obviously, quickly it could get rutted again with the uh, 4x4s. Pick your line, pick your line, take it easy. I don't want to be in them ruts. It just looks like a uh, ball ache. Oh, he says, he says, he says, need to go in them. Bloody hell, lad. <laughs> Few pebbles. Ah, oh, that was uh, fairly straightforward. A little bit sloppy, but okay. Now be careful on the tarmac again.
what a view. What a view. You're gonna have to switch it off here, Pete, are you? Probably are. Uh, could have done with the coffee, really. Never mind. Right. Let's do this. Plus these little trails, you know, I'm doing in first gear, just taking me time because the first gear then you've got the engine brake and it help you as well this trail we normally do in the opposite direction so this top bit's okay but it does get a little bit a little bit gnarlier further down we'll soon see Oh, 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 scratchy, scratchy. Well, we're in this rut now, aren't we? Not much we can do about it, apart from catch the cylinder heads. <laughs> can we get out of it? Oh, we could do with it, really. Oh, maybe I'll get the front wheel out, but can I get the back wheel? Front wheel's not going. We're not going to lift it, are we? That's it. Once you're committed, you're in. Unless you get off and time and handle it out. We might as well be in it for now. Oh. I could do with standing up. <sighs> Come on, Pete. I took too much more effort than it should have done. Sometimes, you know, you've just got to let the bike roll over some of these rocks because. When you try and fight it, it just fights with you, fights with you. It's there we go, there we go, there we go. Keep the speed down. There we go, that was okay, that was okay. Good. I really need a coffee now. Hey, Rabbit Rabbit. Right turn, right turn, right turn. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Lovely. Now uh, we've got a horse up here. That's where the Jekyll and Hyde comes in. We'll turn it off. Oh, I think I've just turned it on. I have. Hiya there. It's nice to be nice.
Right, so this is Glazedale rig. Looks like the mountain rescue are out. <laughs> Cheers now, thanks a lot. Thank you. Right, yeah, as I was saying, this is Glazedale Rig. Another nice uh, trail. Oh, we've got a trails bike. How is that Up on here? Da, 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 da. Another good trail. Nothing technical, but it's a good one. No issue for the bigs bike this one. A few little rollers, a few little. Uh, let's uh, check this out. Fucking fun police. Did right did it did right let's get going. Cause I need a coffee. Actually, do you know what? I'm gonna have a cup of tea and a ham and cheese toasty or panini or something. And maybe a couple of chips. Yeah. A lack of bikes out today, isn't there? Not many, not many bikes I've seen today. Yeah. Got to use your legs in these. Got to use your legs. Big shock absorbers. Go this way. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Yeah, so this is called Glazedale Rig. Obviously comes from Glazedale to the top, back over. So can we get a picture here, do we think? Okay, we in. Let's get it into a bit of gear. Uh. Da -da -dun -da -dun -da -dun. Lovely. There's 
Is that a good thing or a bad thing you can't see me number plate? Let's not give him any excuse to pull me over, eh? Not that we see anybody here usually. Yeah, I'll be ready for you back to you very, very soon. <sighs> right, how long have I been out now? Uh, what time are we on? Time five past one. Two and three quarter hours. Definitely time for a uh, a drinky poos. Another little trail. Sometimes there's a mad dog at the end of this, which is fine if you're in the front, but sometimes the mad dog chases the people who are following you. Look, check that out. Oh, mega, 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 mega. You know what? Happy place. This is it. Granted, uh, it would be nice to be in the south of Spain or somewhere, but this is my backyard. I can travel here dead easy. Okay, so I think it's about time we had a spot of lunch. This is the Cycle Hub, Yorkshire Cycle Hub. There was a big trials competition here last weekend, so that's probably where there's tyre marks all over the grass. But yeah, it's a um, yeah, really nice place to stop. Actually, there's hardly anybody here. There's usually a good bunch of people here. Don't you go breaking my heart. I broke your heart, mate, sorry. It's broke our heart too. We've just got to stop here from back to eat. <laughs> I've been waiting. I thought, I won't stop at Danby. No, I won't stop at Danby. I'll wait till I get here. We've had three staff go sick this morning. Well, I can't believe it. First time ever. Get you and the damn things shut. Okay, 
Right, let's go find somewhere else. I thought it looked quiet. Well, it's the first time I've ever known the cafe to be closed on a weekend. Right, okay, so the normal route we take is up there. But on the dirt bikes, yes, it's a good good route, good challenge. Um, slippy this bit, especially the grass bit up there, especially when it's like this. You've got to really try and uh, pick your line. And then once you get around that corner there, it's gravel, but there's some really biggish rocks and there's quite a technical bit leading onto the top and then you've got to drop down again technical down slippy at the bottom drop into a farm and out brilliant so if you want to tackle that on your dirt bikes by all means and we'll meet you at the uh, the pub on the top uh, obviously done it loads on the dirt bikes but not on the big GS so we're going to take a detour around which is no hardship because it's stunning road let's go Come on, Pete. Oh, we're slipping and sliding. Whoa, we can't wheelie, it's just going to spin out. So I'm still gasping for a cup of tea or coffee. Where am I going to get it now? I could drop down into Rosedale. Mind you, I haven't said that. I could stop off at... Do you know what? I wonder if I can get a... I might treat myself to the pub. Why not? Oh, look at that. How stunning is that? That was a big pothole. The winter's took its toll on this road a bit from the last time I was up here. Oh, it's a bit chilly up here. What are we on? Eight degrees. Right, let's go try this out, so mini for a while. Well, that was lunch. Bloody hell. <coughs> and I'm on this one meal a day thing, but nobody said I couldn't have a massive one and completely gorge myself. Oh God, it was too good to pass up that, that steak pie was to die for. This is at the Lion Inn on Blakey Ridge. If you're ever passing, definitely worth popping in. <laughs> Difficult to come if there's a big group of you because there's very rarely a lot of tables free. It's a quite a popular place. But perfect if there's just a few of you. Or if you manage to get you maybe just before the lunch uh, rush. <laughs> but stunning, yeah. God, that steak was absolutely rammed with steak. At one point, at one point, I thought I'm never going to get through this. 
Anyway, give myself a talking to and we'll push through. Right, let's uh, let's go do a bit more. Eh? <coughs> right, she's looking well used now, isn't she? Yes. Yeah. But it's all part of the fun. Right, let's go do some more. Oh god, I'm stuffed. Oh, I'm stuffed, I'm stuffed. Alright, there we go. 20 past 2. We've been going 4 hours. Right, so out of there we drop down, take a right here, drop down in what is called Church Houses. What's not to love about this? Got a bit more cloudy this afternoon than it was earlier on and we're still on 8 degrees I'm feeling it a bit now after coming out of there but I'm sure we'll soon get the uh, blood circulating again I don't know if you can see in the far, you probably won't pick it up on the GoPro but we're going up that trail there, right through the middle of that uh, that hill <coughs> If anybody were, were wondering, I didn't have a, a pint of beer, that was a, a shandy and there was a damn sight more lemonade in it than there was beer which was perfect for me I'm not a big alcohol drinker anyway, in fact I drink virtually no alcohol. I will socialise and I enjoy that but I don't drink alcohol for pleasure. Never have really. Not because of any particular reason, I just don't don't enjoy it. And I'm always either riding or driving there's never a day goes by when I don't have to drive and the times when I have socialized and I've I do suffer with it a bit I do get a big fat head um, it, it can put me on my ass to be fair the next day yeah we're gonna get through Go on then. What do you think she's driving? Yeah, so I, I never really drink for pleasure. But like I say, I do enjoy socialising occasionally. And I can do it. But it's sometimes I do suffer the next day. Funny enough, if I've been to like a an all day thing like a you know a wedding or we've done something where you know you're t taking your time all day they're drinking yeah you'll put a, a copious amount of alcohol down your throat but spread out over the course of a day I don't tend to be too bad that way but some of the worst feelings I've had is when I've just gone out had five pints in two hours and then I've been absolutely feeling like shit the next day No, so I don't do it. I never drink in the, in the house. Even when we have people staying over, I love a sociable bottle or two. But um, it doesn't flow freely. Don't know why, just never asked. My dad was never a drinker. I believe my granddad used to like a drink, but he was. 
You know what I mean, man? But I've said that, I'm saying it. I've, I've never seen him drink once, I don't think, other than a drink with a meal, maybe. But, uh, right, let's do another trailer. Do not follow Satnav. Why not? Let's follow Satnav I've got. Oh god, that's leaning over a lot. There is another loop you can do around there, but again, save that for the dirt bikes. This see this gets seen better there, isn't it? <laughs> Stay there. Go on, dig yourself in. See, heavy bike. <laughs> I told you to stay there. Cock. Get in gear so it doesn't roll back any further. Go on, get in gear. It's going to be easier said than done. There we go. Come on. Obligatory photo, got to be done on it. Right, let's stop Mr. Well, let's get it picked up. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, use your legs, lad. Use your legs. Oh. We've done a little bit of damage. Snap the little plastic thing off. Anything else? A bit there. Yeah, we've done. We've done that. Oh well. That's the uh, chances you take, isn't it? Yeah, let's start again. Heavy breathing. I should have took more time there, shouldn't I? Silly boy. Right. Take your time. Are you okay? You're now. Right, stay there. Do as you're told. Right. right there. Da 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 Oh Oh we have We have, we've scratched the Jekyll and Hyde These little falls like that, they're, that's the, they're the annoying ones, because the ones that you could have, uh, what's the word, avoided, or should have avoided, just taking a little bit more time, where you park it and how you park it, and it was bloody moving, didn't it? We learn, do we learn? You can't get annoyed though, can you, when you've got scenery as beautiful as this. Impossible to get annoyed. Right, another gate. Uh, and then that's the last one for a little while. Well, until we drop down the other side anyway. Stay. Da 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 da
call that Dale's Hill. Big Dale got, uh, bless me, got stuck there last time he was on his big GSA. Well, we all clumped together and got him out, got him up. He was blown up his ass by the time he got up the top though, bless him. Yeehaw! So we're just about to cross the 10 mile rig, 10 mile from one side to the other. So if we'll cross over that and we'll come back and finish off on that last. What's the mileage now? 72. fade down top and back down again it's a little bit more shaly look at them views stunning a bit rutted. Take your time, lad. Take your time. Always looking ahead to find the best line. Sometimes you got to cross over a trail. Another gate. Here to stay. Thank you. A bit of a tarty shot for me, yeah. It's usually a good back top. Right. Double locked. Be a little slippy. Yeah, I can feel it. Dump it into there. Right, take it easy, we've got a bit of crap there, that's okay. 
a bit more here take it easy, Cadbury's Caramel right which side do I want to be on here I think we'll cross over because uh, I want to be down there, there we go, perfect get my front wheel in that well there make enough room for the door to open make sure I can get the stand down right, stay there stay there are you staying? you're not are you? hopefully you are now I've left enough room yes perfect little bit awkward little bit awkward with the stand there Need another pedal. <laughs> Told you I was a tart with the photographs. <laughs> Take about 100 photographs and use about five of them. But quite enjoy it. Well, not quite at all. I do really enjoy it. Enjoy nothing more than getting home and put my feet up and going through the photographs of the day do a little edit sometimes the wind's picked up a little bit blasting through the valley Well, depending on time, whether we come this direction or not. Well, that would be a cool photo, wouldn't it? Oh, should we do that? We should do that. We should do that. We should do that. We should do that. See if I can get that turned around. Just the heather management, that's all that is. Do it this time of the year. Right, so we, we're gonna get, come back this way, but we're gonna do a bit of a loop. Obviously on the next week, we'll have to check the time to see. Uh, actually, that's a good point. What time are we on now? Right, so say we're on five to three. So let's see how long it, this loop takes us to do. Five, two, three. That <laughs> bouncing about all over the place. <laughs> obviously, I'm conscious of um, of time, making time, but obviously. On this bike, that'll be making up quicker time than I would be, wouldn't I? On the, on the other bikes. Oh. 
right we're left here <laughs> more fun lanes Slips lining away, slips lining away, delay. Right, get out of that rut, don't want to be in that one, thank you very much. Which one do you want to be in now, Pete? We'll go that one. Right, this is where the slippy stuff is here. Especially when you're caught in a rut like that. I'm going to be out of that if I can. Oh, I can see the feel the back end slipping. Yeah, there's not that much grip left in this back tie, unfortunately. Definitely feel the back slip is stepping out of it. You know, it's following the contours a bit more. We in first, yes. Just let it roll. Yeah, I've seen the dirt bikes, the knobblies are a bit sharper than they have on these. Oh, we've got a gate, we've got a gate. Downhill gate, that's uh, ones we don't particularly enjoy. Especially when it's sloppy like this. Uh, it's going out over, so that's okay. Uh, I'm going to have to switch her off. Let's leave it in gear. Off. That's not very good. It's a bit better. Okay, yeah, yeah. Diddy, diddy. I really need a piddle now. Right, let me have a piddle. I'll just switch you off for a second. Well, maybe longer than a second. I've got to find it. Open. Well, let's do it on its own. Yes. Chin. Hey, it looks a bit sloppy down here, doesn't it? Pick your line, cover your front and back brake, don't let the speed get out of hand. Oh, it's quite grippy actually. Famous last words. <laughs> Famous last words.
Yeah, you don't want to be coming down here if it's uh, really crappy because this is an offside camp, although there is a, a gully in there you could get into, I guess. Yeah, there's a nice dry line there. But yeah, that'll be challenging if it's really clarty on the big bikes. Right, which way are you opening? Uh, to me. Can I get me peg down? I don't think this usually closes properly, the yeah, looks of things. Wunderbar. Oh, another gate, <laughs> another gate, another gate. No fun these gates on your own. That means to an end. Means to enjoyment. Oh, which way are you going, lad? That's where you are going. Check this out first and where to rest your head. Look at that, good garage store room. Beautiful little river and a waterfall to boot. Stunning. That could be. I wonder if that's all of the house. No, a different roof on it, so maybe not. Maybe the other half is just storage or something. But what a place, one there as well, stunning, stunning, stunning. Yep, very, very nice indeed. That was a nice little trail. Let's go find another. Another trail. Oops, it's open. No. See, this one's about, I've done this one before, it's good this one, well, I'm saying it's good, there's nothing too technical, but it's nice on a, if there's a clear day, where are you two going, three going. Oh, we're in some slop. Hey sheepies, nothing to see here, to go about your business, don't worry about me, check this out.
Well, hey, we are slipping sideways. A bit of slop, a bit of slop, a lot of slop. <laughs> so, well, we haven't got much for it, we've just got to get go for it. That's all right. Just a bit of sloppage, a bit of sloppage. How stunning is this? There we go. Bit more sloppage. Let's get it in a low gear. Just take it nice and steady. It's okay. We don't know what, but we're all right. There's not a lot of grip under there. Right, cross over it. And get it, which is coming back over. Mega, check it out. Right, this looks a bit challenging. What we're going to do here? Uh, I think we'll try and get high, I think. Oh, there's not a lot of grip there. Oh, same we'll try. I want to try a bit harder than that. Yep, that is slippy as hell. Oh, I need to get up there. Right, Pete. A little bit further up and you'll be able to walk it down. Clever. I don't really want to be in that rut. I want to be on the grass. A little bit further back. That's it, right. See if I can see if I can stay up here. My back wheels just want to go in. This is a heavy, 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 heavy bike. Look, just dragging it down. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Cock. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be fun. <sighs> yeah, so I was trying to get up there, but as you can see, back tyre is absolutely caked. And to be fair, there's not that much grip in there anyway. Probably going to have to get back into that. Right, there's no way of me picking that up there. So. Right. Hi Pete, you got your work coat here lad? 
first thing to do, see if we can get it on its cylinder head. I know you need to spin it around somehow. I don't really want to be facing down over. Hmm. This is going to be fun. Okay, that's not great. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, that's all right. <sighs> ah. Yeah. <sighs> it was yes until we left the stand was still down.
well he got out finally my heart rate's coming down a bit but yeah pointless trying to continue up there beating again never mind save it for another day Woohoo! Well, working off that dinner. Well, that was a challenge. I like a challenge but I don't see I don't like uh, lifting bikes <laughs> me to ride them <sighs> oh. don't do that don't do that don't do that Back at that point now after doing that um, that extra loop. Obviously I didn't complete the whole thing, but that took us exactly an hour. So that's uh, we'll see where we get to on that point next week, whether we tackle it or not. So we're just about to start the uh, the ten mile rig. So this is, is uh, basically the end run now. This is actually quite a good thing to end on. Really, it's a nice steady trail. Nothing technical in this now, really. It's been graded uh, a few times. It's a damn sight a lot easier than it used to be, that's for sure. But that means it's opened it up to lots more people. Which, uh, depending which fence you, you're on, it's a good or bad thing. Personally, I think it's a good thing.
Vamos. Oh hey, slip sliding away. Right, that concludes the trails. So now it's just a quick jump back to the hotel to finish off the uh, mileage, etc. We nearly binned it, didn't we? We nearly binned it. Right, let's just calm down a bit. The tyres are obviously still full of shit. Yeah. Take it easy, lad. Take it easy. Right, okay, so that's us uh, getting back now. Just getting back to the uh, hotel almost. I want to thank you all if you've managed to stay to the end. Well, congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, the prize in the post. Yeah, so that's us done. So just coming back here now, we'll go over what mileage we've done, etc. Once we get back to the hotel, which is just there. Back over the River Tees. Well, the car, like it, obviously we've had a bit of rain coming back for the last sort of half hour or so. I switched the cameras off because he didn't want to see that last bit, it was boring. Back here now. <sighs> right, so when you do park, if you can park round here, if you're on your bike, this, if you can get it tucked in this corner, that'd be ideal. If we can, this is obviously where we stayed for the through Smart's clan ride, we all managed to get on the back wall here. So the plan is to meet here, um, 
We're in between nine and half past on Saturday the 23rd of March and uh, have a ride out, do the route we've done. Obviously I'm going to have to adapt it a little bit. Um, we're going to, there's some lads staying over the Friday and Saturday, but the Saturday night we'll, uh, we'll congregate in this pub here, we'll get a table booked, see how many's coming and we'll uh, we'll have a few drinky poos and um, hopefully something to eat. Right, let's check what we've done. So, 6 hours 26 minutes. Obviously we've done a bit of faffing about. And we've done 123 miles. Now the route, I was hoping to be a little bit longer, but I'm going to have to reduce that. So the likelihood is it'll reduce a little bit. So those that with a smaller fuel tank will there's a couple of petrol stations there we passed early on. We didn't pass many later on, so we'll have to make sure we'll fill up. Uh, so that's it, so all I've got to do now is head off back to the workshop. I'm going to throw a jet wash over this tonight, um, and then put my feet up tonight. Right, well I just want to thank everybody for watching. Um, yeah. I've not else to say. I haven't got. Don't bother subscribing or like that. Not, not liking, sharing, do what you want. Like I say, I'm not a YouTube guru. I just put stuff on there every now and again. Right. Okay. So that's me. See ya. Oh, we've got. Oh, I've been talking with. Right. Okay. That's enough. Enough waffle. Signing out. Cheers. Bye bye. Sometimes Seeing eyes of mine